Before this video begins, I would like to shout out my Patreon and all of my fluff butts for making this video possible. I couldn't have done it without all of your love and support. Thank you. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Make your mark, chapter 2. Day has arrived. All ready. Are you all ready? Ball, album, sign. Got even got the lantern there. I'll get a bit closer so they can see me accurately. <laughs> Welcome everyone. This is the reaction video you have all been waiting for. And now, without further ado, Welcome, Fluffbutts, to the My Little Pony Make Your Mark Chapter 2 Reactions. Shall we? It's me, Farm Water Point Cortez Colt, and yes, the day has finally arrived. Make your mock chapter two reactions. Oh my god, I am super excited for today, and we're gonna be getting into episode one. Izzy does it. How are you all liking the updated setup? All the different characters are in different spots. Unfortunately, we don't have the Make Your Mark album yet, but I've listened to all the songs, and soon enough, that album will appear here. And also, Fluffbutts, I have got an official notepad just for Make Your Mark. Each episode will be contained to one page, and look at what's on the front. Look at that logo. I made it myself, and I am so proud of it. So, how about we just get the first episode rolling? We have still got the mouse, it's not broken, don't worry, and we are going to be giving him some new kind of treatment. Here we go! Ah, oh, little Sparky. Wow, look at Sepper Heights. Hey, we're back in Bridalwood. Oh, thank God. Oh, look at everything here. Everything looks so much better. The lighting's... Ugh, God. Hello, Izzy. Ah. Oh. Singing to yourself. I do that sometimes. Yes, Zip. Oh, now are you getting it for the content? Oh, hitch, my boy. And he's from Sparky. Yes. Hey, Kenneth the bird. Maybe she's nudie cycling. <laughs> Is it Sunny or Pip? Don't focus down there, Sip. Oh, DIY disaster. Oh, Earth Pony magic. Save her. Grow some vines. Yes, more glowing cutie marks. Yeah. What is that going to be representing? Oh, the theme song. You gotta let it go. You gotta let it shine. Yes. Oh, whoa. May Melody. God, the graphics. Oh, Blind! Oh, Misty. Oh, they are looking mischievous there. Make your mark. All right, let's get into it. Well, but there they are. The nature just gave you to them. Oh, oh, it's Sunny's birthday now. But I thought we already had that in Pony Parte. Oh, well. Oh, what are you going to do with that horn ring? I do ship them, don't lie. Yeah, just give it around to the whole Maritime Bay. Spunky, stop falling around. Otherwise, you don't want to be disciplined by your dad. Aw, oh, Spunky finds that no fun. Aw, oh, he's a cutie. Damn, just look at the graphics. They are so much better than the special. Everything is brighter. Everything is sharpened to the right amount. This is glorious. Oh, Izzy is glowing. <gasps> Misty, what are you doing? Then we shall proceed with our plan. What are you going to be doing, Opaline? Oh, has has the festival returned or something? Just drop them in the bin. Newly purchased items go in the bin? Oh my god, those are giant... Wow, they could instantly get in the Guinness World Records just for that. Hey, Pip! Yo, how are you doing? Yep, she's doing it yet again for the content, live streaming on Ponygram. I wonder how many followers she has, though. That is a good, that is a good question. <gasps> What's going on? <laughs> oh, God. The air went down the wrong alleyway. 
Oh god, she's going to like extortionist that bracelet. It's gonna become too popular. And we're back with Zip and Hitch. I still ship them too. Yeah, be grateful that you now have the magic, apart from how Friendship is Magic treated you guys. You've got plenty of boxes, mate. I guess Sparky is the one just messing everything in and everything up. I can't wait to have a dish of Sparkeroni. <laughs> no, don't cry. Oh, I wonder where he sleeps. <laughs> he just sleeps on Hitch's rump. I wish I could sleep on that. <laughs> Oh. Hey, it's Toots! Your smoothies are the best. No, I wonder where Sweetie has gone. Oh. Well, it's a good thing until literally the whole world wants one, then you're going to be struggling to keep it up with mass production. Jesus Christ, Misty. Stop stalking them. You are not the next Sprout. I hope she isn't. Oh, new song. Hey, and all the kids are gathering around. Yeah, I am loving this song. The music is more funky and more poppy. I'm already impressed with the first episode. How are they clapping? That does not sound like hoofs. It would be like... And hopefully longer, Pip. Please, you need another glowing up. She's got her focusing glasses on. Hey, she's got, she's got a streaming light. I got one of those as well. Right here. Oh shit! Yeah, me and Pip are now relatable! God, the struggle of keeping up with YouTube comments. Okay, I am now embodying Pip in a nutshell. Creative block. Ah. Okay, the familiarity with me and Pip is now undeniable. Yeah, uh, yeah, artists, writers, just listen to yourself when you have creative block. You'll get through it. <gasps> Look at that babe! Look at that baby picture of Sunny. Oh, she doesn't have her ears. No, she doesn't have her ears. God damn it! That's, that's gonna, oh, that's gonna annoy me so much. Hey, it's the birds again. Oh, seashells, my favorite. This isn't the special thing you made before. Oh, how harsh of you, cuss! Oh, I, I would have accepted it with a heart full of gold. Oh, that was a big, that was a big tumble. You certainly do. You look dead on the inside, Izzy. Now she's got a wall ball. Oh, where's the tennis ball gone? Hey, hello, Windy. Ah, oh, there's Sweetie gone. Oh, what is she up to? Sneaky little bugger. Wait, why is she leaving that on the side? When you've peaked, you will never go back. Now we're talking. I really love the look of Upperlin's castle. Like the time I rescued you as a filly. Oh, Opaline took Misty in. She doesn't have a cutie mark? Whoa, that is a twist. Whoa, what's that in the ground? It's like, it's like the cutie map. Uh, is it like a hologram? <laughs> She's like an abusive mother, guaranteeing promises and then she'll probably just break it. Don't open that shit! Don't open it! Forever be back. Born? I don't know. <gasps> Shimmerwing! Is that Shimmerwing? A motorcycle. Nice. She's going to unicycle it up. <laughs> oh, come on. Magic can lift any weights. That Sparky is at it again. I guess he I guess he really fits right in with the critters. I will hit sir. Oh, I wish I could I wish I could be a servant to him. <laughs> She's blocked you on social media. <laughs> Aww. Sparky treats like Izzy like a like an aunt. Ah, so that's what it means. Hmm, it's like just expand your brain. Become big brain. Exactly. Be yourself. You and you lot were just being too scientific about it. Overcomplicating shit. Yeah, I can I get that. Oh, what's the present too? Ooh, lovely little wagon there. I wish I had one of those in my room. She could just ride it everywhere. It's like her case of emergencies. Now everyone's got like a strap around them. Oh, this is getting good. 
Oh, what a nice painting. <laughs> it just got a block face. Well, it kind of relates back to Tell Your Tale, his style of his chin. <gasps> oh no! Why would you cover that up, Pip? You did not, you did not give it to them. Opaline's looking through that, isn't it? She's got her eyes set on them now. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just cut off your connection off the line. You are not seeing anything more. Oh, stop it off the line. I already hate you now. She can see the... That's gonna be Misty. What's gonna... Wait, what kind of minions though? Who are the minions? Changelings? You'll get it eventually, Piv, don't worry. Is that like a gramophone? Oh no, it's like an MP3 player, but you can also play it on a record. Yes! Ah, oh, that's what you get for playing the game and watching Tell Your Tale. You already know what's going to happen. Yes! Oh my god, I am immersed. Damn, chapter two is already rocking it out. Oh, look at that shot. Hey, hey, well done. Oh, nice one, nice one, chapter two. Izzy does it. My, my, what a great start. I really love this first episode and it did quite had an impression on me with Sunny's birthday and everyone just having like individual stories just to line themselves onto. But with Izzy's is like the main one because she was trying to find her creativity again since she was experiencing some creative block. It did provide some relatability to me and hopefully to all of you watching because you know how painful it is when you don't know what you wanna do and you've got an emergency that's on the same day and you wanna try and impress everybody yeah that I know that feeling I'm just in love with the fact that this whole new series is going to be taking on like a serialized format and not like individual episodes all the time because I find that better to be honest all the different stories just convulging on each other and then before it climaxes brilliantly at the end this episode was definitely an embodiment of that Izzy has her creative block Pip has her new hit song that she can't find out Zip and Hit just cleaning up the bright house with Sparky getting his adorable horrible moments I'm still in love with him and then Sunny just like having all the smoothie wagons and then she's trying to inspire her friends to do the right thing for themselves be yourself I guess this was this friendship lesson as you would say I am just proud that Izzy finally has a good episode and nothing like it was in tell your tale this episode smashes all of those in Tell Your Tale out of the window. Oh my god, Izzy's performance in this episode was astonishing. And then with the different intermissions with Misty and Opaline, I don't know how you say it, Opaline, Opaline, tell me in the comments below. But nevertheless, Opaline and Misty's like intermissions in the middle of the episode and during the end, Oh, their interactions were great fun. And I love the aesthetic with the whole location of Line's Dark Castle. It's all viney and dark. And the fact that Opaline had adopted Misty when she was a filly. So she took her in and like made her a slave of some sort. Like she's, she's doing all her dirty work so Opaline doesn't have to get her hooves dirty. Oh, I believe that Misty is going to betray the Dark Alicorn later on in the storyline. That is going to be a moment to behold. Hitch and Sparky together as a duo. Oh, they are so beautiful together. And it did make me laugh, the fact that Sparky goes to sleep on Hitch's rump. <laughs> like, please, I want Hitch in real life so I could just like lay my head against him. Oh. Sparky is quite the troublemaker character. Like he was just messing up the whole bright house inside before Zip and Hitch just tried to tidy everything up after him. But at the end, I think he like gained a level of maturity. He He's still a baby and he can't really talk yet I suppose but I would say that his majority is starting to show he accepted what Hitch and Zip talked to him like about tidying up and organizing everything it finally 
egg onto him and now I guess he's just trying to enjoy himself without trying to like disturb anyone. I do think it's kind of a shame though that we didn't get any moments with Izzy in Bridalwood because maybe you could have shoved some extra characters in there, maybe like Alphabetal, and even in Zephyr Heights at the beginning when they showed them at the start, maybe we could have seen Phyllis or Queen Haven, but I suppose they'll be shown in future episodes. And I can't wait if they do. Sunny being the voice of reason, Izzy overcoming her creative block, Pip having some like sad moments so I could feel sorry for her. Hitch and Zip are still my number one ship and they flow so naturally off each other and with Sparky just coming into it as well. It gave this first episode a sense of brilliance and I am certainly looking forward to more in the future. Also Fluffbuds, there isn't going to be any episodes ranking yet. So I'm gonna be saving that list until probably like after episode five because I just wanna get into the gist of things first before I start like shitting all over it, judging the whole thing. Also, make sure you keep this in mind, Fluffbucks. My Make Your Mark Chapter 2 reactions are going to be released every Tuesday and Thursday, so you will have two reactions each week. So keep that in mind. Remember, Fluffbucks. So, don't forget to like this video, comment your thoughts down below of what you thought of Izzy Does It, and subscribe to my channel for more exciting reactions and more content coming soon. And also, don't forget to make a pledge on my Patreon page down in the description below, so you can help support me in making these fantastic videos more consistently. And I shall see you all in the next reaction. Bye bye! And just before this video ends, I would like to shout out my Silver Fluffbutt patrons, Comet Speed, Louise Wade, and my Gold Fluffbutt patron, the Pate and Growerful Trisky. Thank you so much for your love and support.